You know, we run into a lot of pests on our job sites, but I think by far the ones we see the most are bees, wasps, and hornets. All of these can sting you, but most bees aren't interested in bothering you. However, they will defend their nests, which most of the time are underground, in an old log, an old shed, or building. Now, if multiple bees are annoying you, and you don't have food to attract them, you're probably near a hive or a nest. Retrace your steps and get away from them. Then assess the area. Do you see a hive or maybe just a lot of bees? Call your foreman and let him determine what to do. Now what we never want to do is send someone on foot or on a machine into a nest and cause bees to attack in a swarm. If you do experience a swarm, get to a safe place as quickly as possible, like a building or a truck cab. Now one bee sting is tolerable. Hundreds can be deadly. Bee sting venom causes an allergic reaction. If you know you are allergic to venom, you should carry an Epi kit. Have it with you when the bees are out and keep a second kit in your truck as backup. There's nothing wrong with being allergic. I want everyone on our work site to know who is allergic to bee stings and how to use an EpiPen. It's very simple to use and can save someone's life. And most people think bees only sting once. Not true. Most stinging insects can sting multiple times. The yellow jacket will actually bite to hold on so it can sting many times. Now if you are stung, look for the stinger. If it's still there, try to remove it by scraping it off with something blunt. Do not use tweezers because when you t squeeze the tweezers to pull out the stinger, you'll probably inject more venom. Put ice on the sting site to keep swelling down and tell a coworker. If you know you are allergic, use your EpiPen. If you don't know if you're allergic, have a coworker monitor you. If your condition worsens, like excessive swelling, you feel dizzy or have trouble breathing, seek medical help. Now, how can we avoid bees? Well, as I already mentioned, watch for hives. They can be hard to spot, but don't take chances. If you do find a hive, call your foreman, and we may need to call in professionals to handle it. Light-colored, long-sleeved shirts will help protect you and avoid citrus or floral smells from shampoos or soaps. Be careful when you are eating. In June and July, yellow jackets are attracted to proteins like lunch meats or hamburger. So watch what you put in your mouth. Later in the summer and fall, they are attracted to sweets like juice and soda. So cover your drinks and be careful when you drink. Now bees can be annoying, but if you're careful not to bother them, hopefully they won't bother you. 